Hiya folks, it's Kikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Play Betrayal at Krondor, and when last we left off, we are on our way to Egley. Our inventory is laden with things that we can sell, and we have nowhere that we can reasonably sell them, but I'm sure a store will appear at some point. And hey, even if it doesn't, we can just fight the enemies along the road for experience, which we always need. We always need a little bit more experience. There's also a temple here if I want to go and talk to the Oracle. And I think I actually do want to talk to the Oracle right now, so let's go into the temple. Incense World. Right. Temple of Sylvan. Let us teleport. We are here. We want to go to the Temple of Lim's Kragma. 129 sovereigns. Woohoo! We have arrived. Cost us a lot of money, but what else are we going to use that money for anyway? So, somewhere around here is the Oracle. The Oracle's not down... I think the Oracle might actually be down here. If we go... Oh! Oh boy! It's one of you! I didn't know there'd be more of you about here, but there's one of you! Which means we need to get into a bit of a scuffle. I thought you were all gone. Either way... Serpent men! I have a feeling this isn't going to be pleasant. There's only two of them, we should be fine. I hope we're gonna be fine. Right, uh, thoughts like clouds on you... ...to disorientate you, and... ...move forward! That's fine. That's only damage. I can deal with damage. 44. Right. Um, is that... That's... Wait, is it? Hmm. I'm gonna use a spell. I'm gonna use a spell. Otherwise, actually just use thoughts like clouds on you as well. There we go. Should mean now that we should not have a problem taking care of all of you. Like so. Only a little bit of damage. Oh, you're just going in for the uh, the lunge. Well, that should not be a problem because together we can get you. Did it. What do you have on you? Uh, money. Not the worst reward. And more of these. We can't carry those. We can take the coin and the... Torches? No, we can't even take the torches. Okay. Around here. Yep. Let's have a look at the... Dragon Oracle. The statue was large, and here we go. We're back! The Oracle awaits you. What question would you pose? Oh, there are questions! There is a weapon we have learned of which may be of aid to us in our quests. Where may it be found? The God of Revanche is hidden away in a place where elves and mortal fear to tread. A place that is ancient, and was once home to those known as the Valharu. Good knowledge? Where has Pug gone to? What does the Book of Macross have to do with it? Pug has been betrayed by one he believed to be a friend. Even now, he wanders a distant world in search of his daughter, Gamina, but he will not find her. In his search, he will reawaken forces sleeping since the Valhuru waged their wars across the universe. The Book of Macross will be that instrument by which you are able to save him. But how can I be of any help? If he can't protect himself, there is little Gorath and I can do. Where he falters, you will grow strong. The way has been prepared for you. And finally, Book of Macross. There is a book we need to find. It is called the Book of Macross. How may we find it? You chase phantoms, for the book you name does not exist, though the spirit of it burns brightly. I don't understand. You mean what we're looking for is alive? Go you to the Abbey of Ishap at Sarth and find the knowledge held within the vaults. Your answers lie there. Thank you! Well, we learned something. We learned about quite a bit of lore. So, we want to head to the temple. We don't want to hang around this place with serpent people. We probably want to rest before we go, though. 
There we are. Cost us a bit more money, but we have money. Back we go to the Temple of Sylvan. Oh, 129 sovereigns, basically 260 sovereigns to save us some time. Well spent. We are still at uh, about 11,000 money. We probably could have sold our stuff while we were out and about, but I didn't think about that, did I? No, no, I didn't. Maybe I could sell it at Tanner's or Crondor. Much more likely I'm going to be selling it at Crondor. Anyone here? No? Really? No one here. We've made some pretty good uh, time. Let's save again. I have a bad feeling there's going to be an encounter in our year. How did I know there was going to be an encounter in our future? We're set then. They were being watched by a bunch of normal rogues. I mean, you might have poison bolts. And you know what? We're gonna hit you with the stick. And you're gonna hit your own friend. You're gonna move over to here, which means you will switch away from using poison bolts, and we will just have Anthony with you. Oh, there was a hit there. Hopefully that is not a poison bolt hit. It probably is. Let's find out. Yes, it was. Darn it. Ah, well. We'll just uh, keep attacking with the stick. And absolutely, oh, is that you poisoned as well? No, no it is not. That's fine, we can deal with you, ha ha! And, ho ho! You can just defend right now. And eventually, we will take you out. Like, oh wait, a little more. So, victory is ours and Owen is in trouble. Okay, um, we need to swap some things around first, reapply the poison. We'll drop the torches for the moment. Drop the torches. Uh, you take that. And you take this. And you have one of these. There we go. We do want these torches. You never know when we might need torches. Torches, just a very useful thing to have. Okay, what do you all have? You have, ooh, one of them, they're quite useful. Actually, they're useful, but... I don't have space for it. I do, however, have space for it. If I do this, and... Oh, you have loads of stuff. Okay, you have loads of things. Okay, let's have you use that. And then have you use that to heal yourself. Then you can pass that along. You can put that back. Uh, rations? We could do with one each if they're good rations. They are good rations. Excellent. We'll just scavenge our rations. There we go. It's the other body that I wanted to uh, get this off so that I could apply this to our armor. And put that on there so I can do this. Expend that. Ooh, your armor took some nasty hits. And grab that back. We're going to have to repair that armor soon. Right. Uh, ooh, another gem! Okay, another gem. I want that. Fortunately, I have space for it. Wait, I don't have space for it. Torches. Uh, key. Is there another body here? Were there five bodies? There are five bodies. There are five bodies, and here's another body with some money on it. Back to 11,000 money, and there's our torches. I need to drop something to take those torches. Oh, we have so much stuff that I want to keep. We have so much stuff that I want to keep. I want the torches. You know what? We're never going to use this. We are never going to use that. So, take the torches. Keep that on the ground. Okay, this is... North to the Dimwood. We do not want to go to the Dimwood. We want to head this way, I think. This way will bring us to Egley? Yes, this way will bring us to Egley. If I were to head the other way... Then again, if I head this way, it'll bring me to Hawk's Hollow. And Hawk's Hollow is a place I can probably sell this weapon. Or the uh, armor, rather. Hawks Hollow this way? Uh, yes. Well, we're going the right way anyway. 
Well, actually, we're not going the right way. We're going completely the wrong way. We want to go this way. If we want to go to Hawk's Hollow, we have to head to this path. Also, we need to rest because, you know, injuries and such. Hawk's Hollow is this way. I think there's a armor store here. I think. There are enemies here! Good thing I went this way. There are enemies! We can have a fight with you. We're set then. And we charged forward! It's just normal mod hell. Well, you know what they say about that? Charge! Remember when I never used to have Owen charge like that? Remember that time? Now Owen is just mighty enough that he can just do that. He can just charge forward, staff bonk people, and poisoning your own friends. Oh dear. You need to work on that accuracy. But wait, you won't have an opportunity to because you're going to die. Okay, that armor is pretty impressive that you're wearing. Okay, you just keep hitting your own friends. You, you're, you're just hitting your own friends. One down. And... We're not dealing much damage to you at all. Really makes me think that you have some really impressive armor. Okay, a lot more damage to you. Uh, yeah, more poison. This should not surprise anyone. Poison everywhere. Just gonna try and attack you. 36. 17. Okay, please don't run away. I spent all this effort trying to fight you and... Oh, you're gonna get away. No, you're not gonna get away. You're not gonna get away. Where is, uh, not Evil Seek, not Flame Cast, Skyfire! No! No, you're not getting away. Okay, what do we have here? Party's abilities improved first. And yeah, Owen needs to take one of these. Right, what do we have? Well, first thing we have is uh, reapply the poison, Kiko. Reapply that poison, and we'll have a look at what you have. You have money and a key. You have oh, more armor. More dragon plate. Oh. Oh, that makes me sad. I want that. I want to sell that. I mean, I, I don't have any real purpose for all the money, but I still want to sell it. Okay, nothing useful there. Uh, nothing useful there at all. And nothing useful there. Is that the same person that I clicked? It was. Still, not very much that was useful. Right. Where is Hawk's Hollow? It's somewhere nearby. Hawk's Hollow is... Oh no, it's Quester's View I'm going to, not Hawk's Hollow. Silly me, it's Quester's View. Why do I keep saying Hawk's Hollow? Either way, it's not far. I don't think. And I can go back on the road to get to... Okay, Quester's View is... is there, apparently. Yep, here's Quester's View. And there is a store. I think it's an armor store? Yes, it is. Okay, it's a weapon store, but I think they'll take armor. They will. It's not a good deal. I'm still gonna sell it to you. So that I can do this, and then I can use the armor as hammer to fix up our armor, and then I can go get the other armor. Do you take gems? You do take gems. Um... Probably better for me to wait until I get to Krondor for that, though. Right, back we go. I want to get that dragon plate. And hopefully I will find the bodies again. They can't be that far away. Massive pile of them. That they were. Also, there they are. Okay, bodies are here. One of these has dragon plate. It wasn't you, it wasn't you. It wasn't you. It was you. Right, first things first, actually. Take this. And, ooh, actually, I can't apply that. Ooh, I can't apply that. Also, my inventory, yeah. Can't apply that at all. Oh, well, take this instead. This is more important. We'll grab it on the way back. We'll grab it on the way back. There's another hundred or so sovereigns that I can just, like, get. Might as well. 
Rest up. And you haven't gained... Oh, your strength has gone up. Your stealth went up as well. I haven't looked at our stats for quite a while. All right. Back we go over to Quester's View. Sell this. They really should make a little path here that leads straight to the store. They're probably not going to. Someone will eventually. Just, you know, that necessity of we want to head this way will uh, mean that people will just wear a new path into the grass. Seen it quite a lot. Does happen. Right, back we go. I'm just going to cut along the, uh, the way here. I need to find the one that has that, um... I think I need that. Did your thing get hit? It did get hit. We do need to, uh, reapply that. Uh, it's not there. It's not there. Uh, it's not... Okay, it's the one body I'm not clicking. It's the one body I'm not clicking. This one? No. This one? Yes, that's the one. Also, no room. Hmm. If I... Okay. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'll take it, but I'm not going to apply it. Not right now. Let's instead head back north and over to the way we need to go to get to Eggly. Because we need to get to Eggly. The plot demands it because of the key we found. Also, it's getting dark. We're likely to get ambushed by dogs. Okay. Rest it up. And this is the... Oh, a bird shot into the sky. I think we'd do well to pay attention to that little creature. Got some more scouting. How good is your scouting now? 51%. Yours is 79. Yours is a tad better. Just a tad. We'll save. There's clearly something bad here. Yes, there's something very bad. We found it immediately. It's a bunch of normal brigands. With a crossbow! You know what? Stand there. Use that person as a defensive shield. And that worked brilliantly. That actually worked fantastically. You're not going to... Nope, you're trying. You're trying. Well, we know what we need to do. Ooh. Did you poison Gorath? You did not poison Gorath. Okay. Excellent. You move forward. We've managed to avoid getting poisoned. Hurrah! We've also managed to avoid getting into any real serious trouble. Case in point, we are absolutely destroying these opponents. With just attacks. Ta-da! Our wins accuracy melee has increased. That is now at 71%. And... Of course. Of course, the game gives us another dragon plate. Of course. It's like, hey! Do you want some dragon plate? It's like, I mean... Sure. Reapply the poison, by the way. Anything else here? That's good. I mean, a bit of money, a poisoned ration. You know, I'm going to say no to the poisoned ration. Very generous of you, game. A little more money. Another key that I'm not going to use. Um, go to the other side of the bodies so that we can check out what you have. You have more money. Rations? More rations. We could take two apiece. There we are. Two. Two. And... Lockpicks. Well, we don't need those, but, uh... Still nice. I think we're pretty good. Why are random bandits in possession of dragon plate? The answer is because the game demands that the enemies get more tricky and the reward gets better for defeating them, but realistically, they really shouldn't have that. Like, they should really just have stuff that's similar to what they had near the beginning. And nobody's about. That does not shock me. 
That doesn't shock me at all. What does shock me is that we haven't encountered more enemies along this road. Is this the way to... Egley? Right, east to Egley. We want to be here. Egley is pretty deserted. But one of these places has something we want. Oh, stood motionless, waiting for a response. Seconds later, a large, amply endowed woman came to the door, holding a small child on one hip. My husband still has chores to do. You just head on back over to the stranger, and maybe he'll join you when he's through. Before he had a chance to reply, the door slammed closed. On the other side, Owen could hear a man weakly protesting. But butterball, I've never seen these men before. This was followed by a thwack and a muffled shout. Then silence. Oh. Oh dear. Place is abandoned. There's nothing here. We've already checked that place out. This building appears to have been abandoned. Think we should take a shot at opening it up? Yes! Gorath frowned. Peering through the hole to the inner workings of the lock, he saw nothing within that gave him cause for to be enthusiastic about the chances of getting in. This lock takes a very special key, and it is clearly not pickable. If you want him, we have to find the key. We're in. Thankful his key had worked, Owen pushed the door open. Inside they found a variety of objects, including an assortment of papers and ledgers, a writing table, and a small bed. Stooping down to examine the papers more carefully, Owen saw they were tax records of some kind. He also found several notes that had been signed. Stellan. Search this room carefully, commanded Owen. We may find something we can use. That's the thing we can use. Right, we need to put something down to grab that. Uh, what are we going to put down? You know what? I'm never going to use this. Oh, darn it. I'm never going to use this. I'm never going to use it. Let's go back in. Grab this. This is important. Grab the note. The note says, The mines of the Mac Borgalan dock are hereby deeded to Majaka Blackpath and all wealth therein, a section of the caverns were sealed by a special door, which may only be opened with this map, a magical spell having been put upon it. Well, that's a very important thing to have. And so, when we come back, folks, we have a map, which is very important. And once we've checked out the tavern, we will make our way over to Crondor, and then to Sarth, and then into Sarth, through the caverns, which we hopefully can navigate. Hopefully. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.